Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. Yes, I am in my world famous Sippin' Den. On this channel, I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol. How cool is that? Well, that's real cool. I also have a famous Sunday morning coffee review. As if the other stuff wasn't enough. I do it all here. I'm the only one in the world who can do it. That's a fact. And I do it to keep things fair with half of my taste buds tied behind my back. No need to worry. I only need half. Actually, I only need a quarter and I'm using half. Please sub because you're home now. This is a one-stop shop. Anything that has anything to do with alcohol or coffee, you found it. No need to search, search your home. All right, today I am doing a wine. Not just any wine. I'm doing a French wine. A Bordeaux, all right? Explain it to you. Um, Chateau Gohu. And my French isn't too good, so, matter of fact, it stinks, so if I screw some of this up. Uh, Lande de Pomerol, all right? 2017 Bordeaux. Yeah, look. Look at it. Nice. You know what? It's a small bottle. I love these bottles. Because if it's just me, I don't want a big bottle, okay? I don't want to have to drink it over two, three days, whatever. I could finish this, or in this case here, half one night and half the other night. Get two meals, uh, no problem. And you can afford a little better wine, but it's coming in a smaller bottle. It's perfect. Bordeaux is kind of divided into two regions, the right bank of a river and the left bank. Wines that come from the left bank are predominantly made up of um, Cabernet Sauvignon, and those on the um, right bank are predominantly Merlot. That's not always the case, but it's predominantly because both sides have different soils, and each grape grows better in that region. Now, the right bank. Uh, the clay, limestone, and sandy soils of the right bank favor Merlot. Traditionally pairs well with barbecue pulled pork, roast duck, Thanksgiving turkey, Shepherd's pies with their right and centers. Um, now, this says for three generations, uh, Leon None family owns and manages uh, Chateau uh, Gohu uh, in uh, La Lande uh, de Pomerol. Pomerol. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the res uh, wine is a result of a strict selection of the very best grapes of a large vineyard on the right bank. Uh, of Bordeaux, um, made of, and this tells you, and I love it, 89% Merlot, 11% Cabernet Franc. All right. Well, what else do we know about Bordeaux? Hmm, what do we know about Bordeaux? You ever have Bordeaux? You should get them. You really should try some. Um, right bank, 90%, they make 90% uh, red wine there. And the serving temperature, what they would recommend, is between 55 and 60 degrees, or 13 to 16 uh, degrees centigrade, right? And finally, Pomerol, where this comes from, is the smallest of the five wine-producing districts of uh, Bordeaux. Um, famous properties like Pomerol's uh, Chateau Petrus uh, produce some of the most treasured wines in the world. Pomerol may lack official classifications, Surprisingly, none of its wines carry Grand Cru. However, the name Pomerol and the exquisite wines that come from this region speaks for itself. All right, I like Pomeroles, so we are going to enjoy this. We are going to enjoy this. Yes, we are. Well, hopefully you are sipping along. Love these half bottles. I love them. Cheers, my beautiful friends. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Black cherry, plum, nice. Hmm. Dark chocolate and floral. And that, my friends, is a beautiful combination, man. Mm. Because it's predominantly Merlot, 
It's fairly soft, meaning it doesn't have that big tannin, dry or, or uh, strong tea um, dryness to it. Right? It doesn't doesn't hit with the stringency. Merlot is a little lighter than Cabernet, and this is not even having a Cabernet. It's Cabernet Franc with Merlot. So it's softer, less tannin, it's more integrated. Nice acidity. Mm. Beautiful. I mean, it has some tannin, some dryness to it. Don't get me, it's dry. But it's not a killer. Um, beautiful fruit, like I said. Cherries, uh, plums, dark chocolate. Oak, a little woodiness in there, just a kiss. And French oak and oak has a different taste than uh, American oak. It's very good. It's just, it's just so between the acidity and the um, tannins. Uh, which are both soft. The fruit, which is soft again, nothing jumping out, just meld it nice. Um, and then that little bit of dark chocolate under there. Oh. If you've only drank uh, American um, cabs, some of the finest wines in the world, um, or cabs in general, Made from South America or wherever, or Merlots from the United States, nothing wrong, or uh, Australia, or whatever, and you haven't looked into these old world French Bordeaux, you really need to give them a try. Get a couple right banks, get a couple left banks. Um, be nice if you can get the smaller bottles, right? Affordable, easy to drink in, in a day or two, uh, three, but uh, you can consume them quicker than the, uh, than the bigger bottle. And uh, let me know what you think. Try and pick out some of these flavors. Try and see if you notice the difference between the right and the left bank. The different regions. It's fun. It's fun to do. Uh, maybe if you're in a wine club, you can start with and have some friends over and you each bring a bottle or so on and so forth. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, I do all those reviews. So I have the most extensive playlist on YouTube. So you can find anything. This is going to be under my Bordeaux slash uh, French red wine. Um, Playlist, it'll be attached to the first comment, which will be pinned of this video, so you can boom, right on it. But check out that playlist, because I have the best one. I really do. I challenge everybody to always look at it and let me know. Nobody yet has said, no, it's not the best. It is. And I do it for you. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for your support. I'll see you all in the next one.